Hi, Facebook. I do not own the rights to the music plan. We're going to do a little bit of worship today. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my my Instagram. Don't want to come on live. Stop it, y'all. Stop it. Good morning, guys. Instagram don't want to come on live. Oh, my God. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me get my Instagram. Oh, God. It's always something. Hold on, y'all. It's always something. I added that live video earlier, and it, oh, God, and it, and it won't let me go live. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let me see what that is. Hold on, y'all. How y'all been? Oh, hold on, y'all. Story. Oh, my God, I don't know how to do this. Um, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my God. I can't get Instagram on, y'all. Wow. It's always up. Y'all, this is why I probably don't come live as much. I get tired of fighting with machines. God didn't give me that kind of patience. Hold on. I'm going to eventually stop doing lives on here because I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting watched. I'm getting reprimanded. I'm getting a lot of stuff. As you see, I'm tired of fighting with equipment. So I'm probably going to start taking my live to another for format. Ah, hold on, y'all. I don't know how to get my live to go. How do I go live? Can I delete this? I just, just let me delete it. No, 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 no. I don't want to add that to my story. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my God. How do I just delete that live? Edit close friends list. Add to story. No, I don't want to add to story. I want to go live. I've been getting in trouble with Facebook. <laughs> I might be in trouble with Instagram now. Facebook just reprimanded me. Instagram might have cut me off. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody on here live. Why I can't go live? <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Come on, Holy Spirit. I need help. I got to get my Instagram going. I can't do this twice and I don't know how. Yeah, I guess I could save it and send it there. I, I ain't got to fight in me, y'all. I ain't got to fight. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to do a little praise and worship today because I just got some praise in my spirit. Um, as soon as I find my, my music. Oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. This Hold on. What's going on with this cell phone? It's, maybe it's a cell phone. I can't even find my music. And that's usually sitting right. It might be me, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn this on. Any music playing? I do not own the rights to. Hold on, y'all. I had to bring y'all in my bedroom because I got two projects going on in my office. My flat prayer room slash office. So I couldn't go in there. Oh, Lord. I can't do nothing today. Nothing is working right. Um, all right. I'm just going to use this one. I do not own the rights to the music playing. I didn't get Facebook up yet. But we're going to do some praise right now. Hold on, y'all. I got my stuff all scrambled, and I swore I was ready when I hit this live button, but I see I wasn't. This song is titled, Worthy Is Your Name, because he's so worthy. This is my green juice, y'all. I'm just getting to drink it because I ate to bring my sugar bag up, and I couldn't get no more in my stomach. Mm. It's so good. It's weird and good, Okay. <laughs> for him to get to my point. Worthy is your name. Let's turn this up. I do not own the rights to the music playing, y'all. I mean, no, y'all know that he's worthy. Hallelujah. I just bless Jesus. I just bless Jesus. I love me some Jesus. Worthy is your name. Now 
why would I touch this? You no, know, good will took me forever to set it up. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve my praise. I'll be at this all day, all night. I, I praise and worship in my sleep. How conditioned I am to this. Jesus. You want to get into his presence, you got to learn how to worship him. You want to get an answer from God, you got to learn how to seek him. Worshiping him is seeking him. Here's your name. favorite song, y'all. She'd be down there singing it. Don't even have to hear the music, but she'd be singing it. Gotta put that in your atmosphere. It, it'll grab the kids. The praise worthy is your name. Ah, I just love me some Jesus. Your name anointing down. Come on, Holy Spirit. You're welcome. Ah, Fill him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I bless you for the spirit of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I bless you, Jesus. Oh, I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. Um, hold on, I have to make sure. I'll be right back, y'all. I have to make sure my people are getting my... Because sometimes my page don't come on. They have me blocked, but hold on for a minute. Oh, I can't even check it. I started the live already. All right. I'll just open it back up and send it back out. Fears your name, Jesus. I think I'm going to stop this one. Hold on. I can see somebody was on this one, so this one is fine. Let me stop this. Hold on, um, hold on, Facebook. I got to make sure people can see my live. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I got to I gotta do something. I got to make sure people are seeing this live. Oh, they are. Okay. Okay, so let me start the live again. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to make sure because sometimes, you know, if you use the... So I do not own the rights to the music playing Facebook. I had to reconnect y'all. I'm sorry. This is the second part. But anyway, you know when you share your pictures, if you look up to your... Hold on, y'all. If you look up to your right-hand corner, once you put share, it'll say friends, yourself, or on someone's timeline. So sometimes I'll put it on someone's timeline, and it never clicks back. So when it doesn't click back, that keeps it where... Only the person that I send it to is viewing my live. So I had to make sure all my friends are on my live. So let's get this back together. You deserve praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus. You deserve praise. I'm trying to get this. I insist on trying to get this get this Instagram up because I told them I was coming. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to delete that. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on, y'all. I'm going to delete it from my Instagram, so maybe it'll let me go to my live. Let me see. I deleted that one. Okay, I think I can go back to my live now. Hold on. Ow! <laughs> they will not let me go to live. I think I'm on punishment. <laughs> I think I'm on blackout. <laughs> Bye, whoever that is. Hi. Hold on, I'm trying to get my... I do not own the rights to the music playing. I do not... I'm trying to get my live to go back on... on I, think I, I think I'm on punishment. I think I'm in the doghouse again. I'm always in the doghouse. If it ain't Facebook, it's Instagram. Uh, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to... My live button is usually sitting right there. It's not sitting there. I think I'm in the doghouse. But anyway, I'll, I'll send it there. Glory, let's praise God, y'all, again. Try to get back into it. Jesus. I got to start a movie, y'all. I love worshiping. I love worship. I'm a worship. I'm a true worshiper. I'm so mad I can't get Instagram on. Just turn this camera off. Oh, man, hey, let me turn this, this the phone that rings. Mute this phone so nobody don't bother me. Because they start bothering you when you're doing your life. So how y'all been? Y'all y'all, 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 y'all don't know. I've been going through something. That's okay. It ain't nothing that too, too great for God to deal with. Jesus. Welcome to my room. I couldn't put y'all in a prayer room office because I got two DIY projects going on in there. One for business and that darn wig that I keep forgetting to go get a razor razor comb for. So I never finished the Phoenix wig because I keep going outside and I keep forgetting to get a razor comb because you have to razor that into that blunt and I don't have a razor. I got a razor comb but the blazer doll so I need, I need another one. Your name I don't believe churches are open here in Philadelphia, but do y'all know if churches is open here in Philadelphia? Because I don't go outside, so when I do go outside, I get sick and I run back in. But so I don't know if churches is open here, so if somebody could tell me if churches is open here, I think it's time for me to get in somebody's house. I do believe it is. God got work for me to do. Somebody might need some help. Be surprised. When God sent me out, I, I'd be teaching them. God, God, Jesus. It's nothing like the love of God. It's nothing like praising God. When the praises go up, the blessings do come down. But we're gonna talk about this this natural juicing that God gave me. I had some stuff going on. I, I went out twice to an uh, Acme on Roosevelt Boulevard. Each time. Like one month I went in, I got sick. The second month I went in, I got sick. My medical started sending me this. Hold on, we gonna get back to this. My medical started sending me this card where you get like thirty dollars worth of fruits and vegetables. But the only place that take that card as of right now is Acme and Giant. I got Acme's around me. The Giant is so far out. I'm not going over yet. There, that card expired before I use it. But you got to use it within a month, or they take the money back. So I use it in the Acme on Roosevelt Boulevard twice. Each time I came out violently sick. I got sick the next day. I couldn't get out the bed. Cold, freezing cold like like I was in the freezer. Nothing with like taste buds or anything. So I didn't believe it was COVID. But anyway, the Holy Spirit started telling me how to deal with it. So the next month I went in there again. The next day I got sick again. My friend said, you need to stay out the Acme. I'm like, oh, I thought it was just me thinking that. He said, no. You need to stay out the Acme because it seems like when you go in that Acme, you get sick. So I don't know if it's they not cleaning their carts or whatever. But one thing about it is I don't get sick. So it's weird for me to get sick. I haven't been, I haven't caught a cold or sniffle or nothing in about seven, eight years. So it has to be, it might be longer than that. But I haven't caught, I haven't. Everybody can be around me sick and I don't get sick. 
So this is something new. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I won't buy the fruit this <laughs> month. I don't know what it is. I told my daughter, maybe I need to clean the car. I don't know because I've only used this car twice. See, I used the car like that. I'm like, is it something on the car? You, you know, I don't trust me. I don't trust me in no way it is. And the medical is sending this car out. out. So I'm like, what's going on? I'm just mysteriously questioning. It. But anyway, so the Holy Spirit, I haven't seen to been able to get my strength back ever since I caught that first little bug that I caught. So the Holy Spirit started having me do this green juice, this green juice. I'm going to tell you all about it in a few minutes. But I knew about this stuff before. I just never really did. I did my sea moss and my vitamins, and I left it like that. So I was cool. But um, I ran out of some of my vitamins, and I didn't order it. So that might be one of my issues, too, because I'm out of a couple of my vitamins, which I'm going to sit down today. I'm going to order all my stuff because I'm out of soursop. I'm out of my vitamin E, my vitamin D, and my vitamin B complex. So I'm out of those, and those are immune system ones and nerve, 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 nerve vitamins, too. So I'm going to tell you about several things. Let me tell you about the nerve vitamins right now because I know I'm going to forget this one because I didn't come to tell you all about this. But if you had pain, um, arthritis, um, um, a lot of chronic pain, or have, um, had a disability like myself where I couldn't walk and, and the Satan doctor said I would never walk again and God sent an angel to tell me to get on these nerve vitamins. And I got on the nerve vitamins. I've been up and moving. I've been mm. up and moving. God really used that lady in that bank that day. So let me tell you the nerve vitamins are E, B, Super B Complex, B12, D, and A. They're all nerve vitamins, and you have to take them every day because as soon as you stop taking them, all your pain and your disability is going to come back. So it's a lifestyle. So is that green juice. That green juice is a, is a lifestyle. God is teaching us to stop seeking men and seek him. Because I didn't even know I had, I got to get back into my praise yard. Oh, let me tell you this real quick. I had this big old, like, big old bruise on my calf of my, front calf of my leg. And it looked like somebody had just took something and just beat me right there. And it was gray. It's been like that for like two or three years. And it just kept, it was stressing me out looking at it, but I didn't know what it was. So anyway, I've been on this juice probably like a week. I get up today, you know how you just get up and you sit on the side of your bed. And I'm just sitting there, and the Holy Spirit guided my eyes down to that area. That thing is gone. Like, what the heck, and where did it go, and what was it? So whatever it was, that green juice for it. That green juice combat it. So, let me get back into my praise, and then we're going to talk about what I came here to talk about. Got to start over. Now, this is how you get your relationship with God. You start laying before Him. You start talking to Him. You start singing to Him. You wake up praising Him. You wake up blessing Him. You talk to Him all throughout the day. Like you on that phone talking to everybody else. Get on your spiritual phone and talk to Jesus all day. Even when I'm outside, you think I'm crazy. Because I be talking in the market and whatever. And I be talking to myself. People probably think I got buzz in my ear or something, but I don't. But I be talking to Jesus. I be talking to the Holy Spirit. All right, Holy Spirit, you send me here. I need this and this and this. You got to develop your relationship with God. And that relationship is just talking to God. So let's get to this prayer. Worthy is your name, Jesus. means something to me because I'm a praiser for one and he's worthy of the praise name Jesus when God aborts a serial killer from grabbing you this is the kind of praise this is how you get here when God abort your parents from molesting you or your other parent from abusing you this is how you get here when God abort you being homeless because you packed up all your stuff and put it in a truck and went to the house that you're supposed to move in and, and the person changed their mind right at the door. You had no place to go, but he sent an angel to help you. This is how you get to this kind of praise. <clears throat> when God lift you up off that sick bed <laughs> that, the, the, that the Satan doctor said that you would never walk again, this is how you get here. If you sit down and allow God, say, God, talk to me. 
Holy Spirit, talk to me. Show me what I need to see. Show me what you aborted in my life. Show me the plans that the enemy had in my life. And he'll sit you down. Hi, whoever that came on Facebook. He'll sit you down and just get quiet. And let him show you what he aborted in your life. How he helped you. How he kept you. How he how he stopped Satan in his trap. I remember... <clears throat> I'm going to get back into this praise, but i got to get here. I remember when I had moved up 21st and Venango into this house. I met a girl. Hi, it's a queen. Hi, it's a queen. I met a girl. You'd be surprised how Satan has set the traps. Now, mind you, both of my parents are drug addicted. Heroin and all kinds of drugs addicted. So that is in my in my DNA for me to be addicted. But I thank God for spiritual abortions. I thank God for blocking everything that was on my bloodline and kept it away from me. I only got touched by one thing that I know of. That I know of. <laughs> but anyway, everything else he blocked. So with that, that's how I became the praiser I am. Because when God set me down and showed me how much he loved me, that he stopped this, that he stopped that, that he aborted this, that he kept that Gary hiding it from grabbing me that day, that he um he stopped me from getting on crack. Listen, I never got high. But listen, listen how it happened. I moved up to 21st in Lehigh um, with my girlfriend. And I was just walking one day and ran into this friendly girl. Watch the friendly girl. Watch the, watch the friendly. The friendly can be a set. A trap. Because I've had two friendly people come in my life that, that almost destroyed me. One came with a basket of fruit inviting uh, uh, greeting me into the neighborhood. That was a demon. I, I ended up under her for about 12 years. She did some stuff to me. Anyway, long story. She, she, ended up, she paid the price. She paid the dear price. So this other girl walking around with the with my daughter she just started holding a conversation with me next thing i know and i'm a friendly person so next thing i know i end up going she started coming to my house and i started going to her house and one time when i went into her house she just started pulling this stuff out in the kitchen we was in the kitchen she pulled out a pot some um baking soda some um water and this powder stuff no this hard well no was it powder stuff and she started making it like it like she was in a lab or something. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I'm so naive. I, I don't be around that stuff. So this was the trap. Satan was trying to get me on crack. <laughs> I don't even get high. So how you going to try that one? I never got high. I learned from my parents' mistakes. That was never something I desired. I never desired to get high. So anyway, so she was like, she started smoking it with this little thing. And then she's like passing it on. You want something? And I was like, no. She was like, you don't want nothing? I was like, no. I heard the Holy Spirit. This is probably one of my second times hearing the Holy Spirit so clear. Get up and get out and never go back. As if he took, like he told Lot and told Lot and them to come out of Sodom and Gomorrah and do not turn around. And his wife turned around, she turned into a pillow of salt. So if I would have went back, back, that's what, I would have turned into a pillow of salt. A crackhead. Because she would have eventually got me. Because that was a trap being set for me to, for me to get trapped in. But... I just thank God for the Holy Spirit. You got to sit down. You got to ask the Holy Spirit to talk to you. And he will. But you, and, and part of my, this is how I got here with this praise. I love God for everything he did for me. For everything he's doing for me. And when I need to seek God. Oh my God. When I need to seek God, I put this on first. I got to get in this presence. Praise. I put some kind of praise and worship music on. I'm teaching y'all. Worthy is your name, Jesus. I feel that. Worthy is your name. He deserves the praise. Worthy is your name. You got to find what makes you get that connection to him. I can instantly get up on his lap with this kind of a music. Rested on me. If I start crying, y'all, I might go down. Jesus, you deserve praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve my praise. Make it personal. He deserves my praise. Yeah, but 
ba 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 Sandero sa kaya na ba 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 sa ha ha iyo ba 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 sa Woo glory hey ba 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 Sandero sa ha iyo ba ba sa hiya ka na ba sa Woo ba 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 Sandero sa kaya hey ka ba 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 sa Woo ba 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 Sandero sa kaya na ba 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 sa ha Woo yeah ba 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 sa ay 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 ba 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 sa hiya ba 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 sa ha hiya ba 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 sa hiya ka na ba sa hiya ba 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 sa Woo Lord Jesus. The anointing is on me right now, y'all. This is how you get healing, too, because the anointing will fall. And the anointing breaks yokes. Ha, 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 I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. Oh God, 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 oh Facebook on to get Instagram. I need, I need to get these people. 
And he about to send that sickness back to the pit where it come from. Please, Instagram, let me, let me come on. Look, I cannot get on Instagram. I got several people I know need to see this on Instagram. I'm going to save the video. Hopefully, it let me send it over to my story on Instagram. It's sad. See how the devil fight? This one, you know you're doing it right because the devil ain't going to let you just come up in his territory easy. He gonna fight, he a fighter. He gonna fight you. You just gotta know who you are. You got victory in the name of Jesus. You got victory in the blood of Jesus. I ain't scared. I'm coming forward in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna snatch everybody out of the sick bed. I'm gonna abort the plans of the enemy over your life with witchcraft. I'm gonna abort the enemy over your life with all those Jezebels and, and narcissists in your life. How about I said they don't some sick people and they do things to you and they speak evil over your life. In the name of Jesus. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You got a sick baby. Stand in proxy for your baby. Tell God I intercede for my baby. Claim the victory for your baby. We get ready to send these sicknesses back to the pit of hell where they come from. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Oh God, I bless you. Oh God, I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Is your name, Jesus. You deserve a praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve a praise. Sometimes you might catch me doing this because I'll be dancing with Jesus, okay? <laughs> I'll be like, come on, Jesus. Come on in the room and dance with me. I got a personal thing with Jesus. Yes. Oh, it's probably I can't get a husband. <laughs> she said, I'm not letting her go. She love me, love me, love me. <laughs> That's okay. I just, I, I, I'm praying for my warrior husband. I almost knew Darren was it because... He, he, he was locking in, loading in with what I was teaching him. <laughs> it's okay. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve my praise. It's a queen. Is that my cousin, Ivy? Ivy, I need you to tell me if that's you watching. It's a queen. Is that my cousin, Ivy? How you doing, baby, if that's you? I need you to let me know if that's you, though. You deserve praise. I am preparing to come out in June. I am prepared to set up. I'm preparing to set up a prayer clinic. So y'all need prayer. I'm getting ready to set up a prayer clinic. I'll probably come in there maybe twice a month because it's gonna cost me the rent. Um, I don't. I don't have finances like that. The devil knew not to keep allow me to keep my finances where he's at. But anyway, we pray. Let's pray they come back because I need finances. Otherwise, I can come in there more. If if I can get the finances. But pray for my finances so I can come on and do thus saith the Lord. I'm ready to travel. As soon as they take the lockdown, which I'm here in June, I'm ready to travel. Hi, Miss Queenie. How are you? I'm ready to travel. I do not own the rights to the music plan. Uh, Miss Queenie, y'all came on kind of late, so um, after it's over with, maybe you can go back and see the beginning of I tour. I, I tour. I've been on here probably about 20 minutes now. But anyway, um, I'm ready to, in June, I'm launching out. I'm going to start traveling to hospitals because I, I, I've had the gift of healing and I have the gift of prayer, which connects called deliverance. So I'm going to start going to hospitals. I'm going to start, I don't care where it is, if they provide the transportation for me to get there, I will get there. I'm going to allow God to use me in every way that he say for me to use. I got too many gifts in me to be sitting still. Sitting still is... It's over for me. Hi, Sade. Hi, baby. Oh, I, got, I got several of my cousins and, and my beautiful queen, Bur Queen Birdie, you know, the queenie on, on the line. So this is what I'm, I, I, I've been locked in. I've been learning. I'm getting ready to do another crash course because deliverance take a lot of praying and deliverance take a lot of studying. So that's why y'all haven't been seeing me between homeschooling with these kids. I'm locked in. And then um, 
then I'm, I'm studying and I'm fasting and I'm praying. So this was something that the Holy Spirit gave to me. Did y'all see my video about the green juice that the Holy Spirit gave me? Because somebody's been sending some some, some, some little darts at, at, at me. And I've been sending it back to Cinder. I've been sending it back to Cinder. Let me quiet this down a little bit. I've been sending it. I've been feeling it. Let me tell you how you know someone's doing witchcraft for you. Now, I, I, I don't know if y'all know, but I, I truly believe. And I, hi, Mark, how are you? God bless you, Mark. Uh, I, I, my ex, if, if y'all seen the pictures of his hands and his elbows and all up here, and his legs was like that too, he had a lot of lesions and lumps, and his hands was like going different kinds of ways and whatever, that was witchcraft. Some woman did that to him. And um, I've been battling her in the spirit realm. <laughs> she's trying it. She's trying it. Because she's coming after me. But I'm sending everything. She's sending, back, sending to me back to her. God bless her. Because as soon as I feel it, see, I'm anointed. I hear. And like these witches and weird lives, you don't realize we hear. When you touch the words that touch not my anointed. You think the Holy Spirit is going to allow you to do something to me and I don't, and he don't tell me that it's coming. Or that arrow, or that dart, or that witchcraft is coming my way. So I was feeling it. And uh, I would feel it. Like I was getting these these things and these pings like something was stabbing me. That's the witchcraft dart. So I send it back to Cinder. I jump up and send it back to Cinder in the name of Jesus. So I'm returning the curse. So that little witch going to die. I decree and declare that witch is going to die in the name of Jesus. That's one thing about a witch. The word I said to a, the, the saying, Christian saying is to a witch die. I command her to catch fire and die. You already killed somebody. You, I, I ain't even worried about that because I, I got too much work. I'm anointed. I'm a protected. But you, you're going to send your dirt, so I'm sending them back to you because I want you to die in the name of Jesus. I want your little evil, wicked butt to die in the name of Jesus. Because if she did it to him, she's trying to send stuff to me. Just imagine all the people she done touched. Or just imagine all the people she might have killed. I had an uncle. He met a woman. He, it was a neighbor. She started feeding him and his wife. She eventually killed... He, his wife started smelling like mildew. Sickness have an odor. Demons have an odor. So his wife started smelling like mildew. I was anointed. I knew that wasn't right. But I was too young. I was probably about 13, 12, 13 when I started smelling. I didn't know what it was. I wasn't here. So then eventually that woman did kill her off. She died. The doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. When it's mysterious, mysterious and the doctors can't figure out what it is, that's witchcraft. That's roots, what they call roots. That's somebody speaking ill into your life. That's somebody that fed you something. Now, they don't only have to feed you physically. They can feed you in your dream. I didn't want to get here because I don't have time to do this with the dream part. But they can feed you. If you ever get someone, if you ever get that in a dream. You rebuke that and send that back to the, to the sender. That's roots. They're rooting you. And God is showing you in your vision someone is feeding you evil. So you send that back to, to, the, to the sender in the name of Jesus. You've got to always close it in the name of Jesus. Otherwise, it's not going to go away. It's not going to go back. So you got to send if you ever find yourself at a party or, or at a dinner or, or, or on, a, on, a, on a beach eating food any kind of food, drinking or whatever, that's witchcraft coming through your dream. That The spirit realm is deep. That's how you can get rooted by your picture, remember? They say, be careful who gets your picture, be careful who gets your hair, be careful whose food you eat. That's what they're talking about. That's witchcraft coming to you. If you dream of being fat in your sleep, that's someone doing something with your, with your personal something, some kind of way. That's called the marine spirit. It's coming through your dreams, and they're rooting you. So with that being said, my uncle, the woman that did him, did his wife, she did it through the food. She fed me. And um, you ever heard of destruction comes, warning comes before destruction. When you're seeing it in your dream, that's your warning that someone's doing something to you. So you have to rebuke that in the name of Jesus and send it back. Because if you don't send it back, it has right to stay. Send the curse back. Remember I did the send the curse back video? Well, this is the second portion of send the curse back. So, I've been dealing with two of Darren's women on his page. 
I had to tell them y'all didn't know who y'all was playing with. They they hurry up. They hurry after I started. Look, I'm a warrior. You can't come after me and I don't respond. I tried to ignore it. I did. But after about the sixth step, she opened me up. So I was coming there. So once I came, she backswim. She started deleting her stuff. She called me every kind of B in the book. I didn't even think she knew I was a woman of God. So eventually I had to go back on there. A few days later, you, next time, she cursed me. She said, she tried to verbally curse me. She said, now that you're so in tears, may you swim in those, those tears. Devil, let me tell you something. I reversed that back to her. I said, now you're going you to swim in those tears. God bless you on how he's going to do it. Hopefully he doesn't, he had mercy. But you, you got to be careful what your mouth speaks. Definitely if you're anointed. Whether you're anointed for the devil or anointed for God. Your mouth, if your mouth is blessed, you can speak things into people's lives. So the Holy Spirit said, send that back to her. Now she going to weep the, now she going to swim in her tears. And I was obedient. I don't like doing stuff to people, but people don't mind doing stuff to other people. That's evil. So in order to back, combat, combat evil, you got to deal with it. You can't sit there and watch Okay, you see, you see, you see the serpent getting ready to bite you. You're not gonna cut the devil's head off. You're not gonna cut that snake's head off. You're just gonna let the snake bite you. <laughs> Come on, answer. You're just gonna let the snake bite you? No, I ain't letting no snakes bite me. So I, I dealt with her, and I dealt with them. It was two of them. I kind of believe that it was the girl ex-girlfriend with a fake page with her friend. Cause the friend exists, but I believe that she was just using a fake page to get on his page. Because he had blocked her. So she had a fake page. But anyway, I dealt with her. Now this is a woman that talk about God. Talking about she on the choir. Look! It's a lot of evil people in the church. I don't care what they speaking. If you can't see that purity in their heart, then you know they ain't of God. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they say. So anyway, I started getting pains in my hands. I started getting like real bloating and, and a lot of gas. And then I started having shooting pains all through my body. Those was the darts that they were sending my way. You know, people do do voodoo dolls. Pins, pins, pins. I was feeling stuff. So I started rebuking it. And I started sending it back to Cindy. It is what it is. It's, it's, it's back there. So after that, my hands was messing up so bad. The Holy Spirit said, I need you to start using turmeric. Turmeric is for swelling, sicknesses, turmeric fights cancer. Because then I come on now, I want to talk to y'all with cancer. A lot of stuff is, a lot of stuff, cancer, let me turn, let me turn that off. Cancer is in medicine, cancer is in um, chemicals that's in your, in your food, in your, in your medicines, in those drinks that you drink, in your weaves. Chemicals is in everything. And um, chemicals have a lot of cancerous ingredients. They don't care when they're making that stuff up. All they're just trying to do is market it. So with that being said, <clears throat> you could have ate some, <clears throat> like a lot of this stuff. <clears throat> a lot of this stuff. These, these stuff has a lot of chemicals in it. These processed things have a lot of chemicals in it. So I kind of bet all that with my kids. I give them sea moss and I sneak juicing in on them. And um, with major... He don't like cranberry juice by itself, so I mix it with his Kool-Aid because cranberry has a lot of healing for your kidneys. Cranberry has a lot of healing for a lot of things. Come on, we're going to talk about natural herbs. That's what God wants, wants us to learn. Not only he wants you to learn to send things back and recognize when someone is doing to you in the spirit realm, because this is how you know someone is doing something or a, a, a demon, a demon of infirmity have attacked you. You will feel it jump into your body. 99.9 .9 out of 10... Demons attack you while you sleep. They cowards. That's when they enter into your body while you sleep. You heard me say the demon, the the marine spirit with the witchcraft comes in your sleep. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're not conscious, when you're conscious, you can combat things. But when you're conscious, it can latch onto you. So, um, with that being said, um, the um, oh God, I lost my train of thought. Cause I was talking about that, that um, I see my, I got my, I got, I got my heart, I got my heart, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, um, so with that being said, the spirit realm is really, really deep. It come in all kinds of ways. I seen a video where the man was doing deliverance on a woman. She was like 27, 
and it was a demon resting in her. So the, the 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 prophet before he delivered her, he was talking to the demon. He said, "How long you been in this woman?" The demon said, "Since she was a kid." So the the prophet said, "You've been in her that long?" He said, "Since she was a kid." Laughing, it was funny. And when I do deliverance, I'm going to experience all this. I've had demons talk to me before, so I, that that's not something, that's not nothing new for me to see that. But it might be new for y'all to see it. So anyway, so he the demon, so he asked the demon. He said, "Well, how did you enter her body?" And it said through her medicine. A lot of this medicine is attached with spirits. When you read the side effects, cancer, kidney cancer, liver cancer. What do you think cancer is? Cancer is a spirit. Cancer is a spirit. And it came through that to that woman. That that spirit came into that woman through her medicine. Now y'all know my grandson had kidney had kidney issues, and they put him on these medicines for his kidneys. He started instantly acting crazy. So I had to start look. I had to start. I had to start holy oiling him down. And now it's totally gone. He doesn't scream. He was screaming. He was jumping all over the place. You could see the demon that crazy. And when I pulled my oil out, it would go like, like real, real crazy. Demons are in everything. The spirit realm is really deep. And the spirit realm is really tricky. That's why I think God just has me teaching it. But those of y'all that do not know Jesus Christ is your Savior, he is your protector. He is your guider. You cannot receive the Holy Spirit until you receive Christ. And then the Holy Spirit is the one to start teaching you all of this, what you need to know. Like when I when I got sick, when I went out to Acme, the Holy Spirit, I came down, I, was, I felt like I was in a freezer. And I laid in that bed, the Holy Spirit said, nope, we're not laying on sickness. You get up, you go downstairs, make you some turmeric, ginger, green tea, honey, and put six halls in it. And I did that, and I made this this my favorite big cup. <laughs> the little cup is not enough for me. So I put all that in there, and I let it seep a long time, and then I started drinking it. As soon as I started drinking it, whatever was going on in me was breaking. You see how the Holy Spirit will guide you to what you need? But in order to receive the Holy Spirit, you have to receive Christ. In order to be protected, you need Jesus' name, you need Jesus' blood. You cannot use that if you're not his child. You cannot use his name and, and, and apply the blood over your situation if you're not his child. So those of y'all that do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, with all the stuff that's going on, you will need Jesus like never before. I will invite him in today. All you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. And I believe that you rose, that you are the child, son of God. And that I believe that you rose from the grave. For my sins. Receive me as your own. And you are his. So then you got to start reading your Bible. You got to start talking to Jesus. Develop that relationship. Because the victory is in the relationship too. You get, you, you get higher. You get favor. Thank you Holy Spirit. You get favor when you do have a relationship with God. Now let me find 20 people that got a relationship. That don't have favor on, on their life. And I can find a hundred people that don't have a relationship that can't seek, find God. Those that seek God shall see God. <laughs> Come on, Holy Spirit. That was not me. That was not me, y'all. Those that seek God shall see God. Ain't nothing like seeing God work in your favor. Let me tell you how. When I was 26, I had just had my second baby. Tell you about the serial killer that was following me. I told my boyfriend I'm still craving. You know, you crave like 19 weeks after you had the baby. I told my baby, my boyfriend, I, I want to go get some fish for us. Can you watch the kids while I go to the A and Gerard and get some fish? And he said, yeah, I want some fish. Yeah, I'll watch them. So I left out to go get the the fish. I get to like ninth, between 9th and 8th Street. And this limousine started following me. A white, long limousine started following me. See, remember, I always had this relationship with God. Even as a kid, I used to ask God, if you did with me, make me yarn, I'd have a yarning fit. <laughs> I literally would have a yarning fit. If I'm, if, I'm, if, if I'm to do this, make me yarn. That was my thing then. Make me yarn, I would have a yarning fit. So, Lord, if, if, if I'm doing something wrong, make me yarn, and I would have a yarning fit. So, that was my communication with God as a child. Now it's a little deeper now, but anyway, so I went to to um, 
I was walking and this white limousine started following me. And all I, this is my first time actually hearing, no, this is my second time actually hearing the Holy Spirit. It said, whatever you do, don't turn around. And there was this wind behind me, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. He said, it just kept saying, walk, walk straight, walk fast, walk fast, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. It was like, do not turn around, do not pay that car no mind. Walk, 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 walk fast. So after about a half a block, it told me to turn, make a right turn into the street. I didn't realize then that when I made this right turn that this man wouldn't be able to follow me because the street didn't have that turn. So instead of him being able to follow me in the street, into that street, he did a U-turn. He picked his next girl up at the gas station across the street. That was Guy, Gary hiding it, trying to get me. Our serial killer in Philly. Um, Todd was born in 1990. Uh, Todd, <laughs> born in 1990. I forget where these kids were born. But anyway, that was 2000, 1993. Uh, probably 1989. Probably 19... I don't know, somewhere around here. Because Nisi was born in 1993. Nisi wasn't born then. So I think it was 1989. Gary Hyde, we had a serial killer here named Gary Hyde. And he was killing women. He was taking women, putting them in, in, in the basement, using them as sex slaves. Then when he got tired of them or they was disobedient, he would kill them. Then he would take their bodies and chop them up and make his famous Texas chili. Cannabis. Cannibalism. These are some evil, wicked people out here. Not only do you need the Holy Spirit for to talk to you, you need the Holy Spirit to guide you. You see, he guided me right out of the hand of my enemy. That was the hand of my enemy coming after me. I could have been a sex slave. I could have known my old disobedient, but he probably would have killed me and made me into Texas chili. But that's how God has... I've always had this relationship since a kid. I don't know when I started talking to God like that. I want to say around about 10 or 11 I started doing that. And that gave me that relationship with the Holy Spirit. So I, I've always heard the Holy Spirit, but I knew how to seek him. Then I was learning how to seek him by asking him questions and telling him to make me yarn. So you got to develop your way of ask, talking to the Holy Spirit and get him to talk to you back. But a lot of times you just need to sit down and you'll learn that prayer. You'll develop a spirit of praise upon you when, he sit, when you sit down and get quiet and he show you what he kept from you. I call those spiritual abortions. I've had many spiritual abortions. Gary Hyden it was one. <sighs> I, I just need to sit down and write my books. But when I move, I'm gonna have me a um I'm gonna have me a room designated just for prayer, um, praising and and my writing my books. Cause I got a lot of books in me, the Holy Spirit want me to get out. So I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna be moving soon. I'm moving soon, moving soon. I gotta get out of here. I can't function in this house. I can't function in this atmosphere. So anyway, so with that being said, the spirit realm is deep. When you are born, if you have an anointing on your life, you, the, the the demons are assigned to you. Remember, the spirit came to find baby Jesus to kill him. He didn't come to to worship him like um like the the wise men came. That spirit came to kill him. So when you are born with anointing, guess what's attached to you? Blessings and curses. Because Satan know who you are. Um, if you seen my stat and I said I'm number, I'm a warrior, because I've had to come up against some things. I didn't know about spiritual um, praying and all that then. I had, I had these hands. I had to fight. I had that wisdom to do stuff to people, and they would leave me alone. So that was the fighter in me. And it's still in there. It's subdued. So I tell people, don't don't mess with it, because after a while, you might not get the praying Felicia, you might get that fighting Felicia. <laughs> and she don't play. <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, I had to learn how to fight, because people was always coming after me. You ever been in a situation you don't understand why this person don't like you, why this person came in your life, why, 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 why? The whys is because that was the assignment sent to you from the devil. That was the trap. That was the thing that was supposed to destroy you. <clears throat> and if it didn't destroy you, it was to build you. So all the stuff that came to destroy me, I should not be in my right mind, y'all. I've had I've had at least four warlock witches in my life. My baby daddy mom turned out to be a Jamaican woman that did witchcraft. She tried to root my kids, my daughter. My daughter used to throw up like the exorcist because she was putting stuff in her body. 
Then her son knew what she did. He eventually said, whatever you do, do not, do not take my baby to that woman no more. I didn't know who she was. Then I found out later she was sending her daughter up as a friendly. Come on, you got to watch for the traps. You got to watch for the traps. You got anointing on your life. You got a call and you got a relationship with God. You love God. There's demons assigned to you because the devil don't want nobody to love God like that. So that woman, after I got rid of her, she started telling her daughter, I want to see my niece. I want to play with my niece. So I fell for that. That daughter was bringing her roots into my house, planting it inside my plants and stuff, which I found later. I've had this witch warlock stuff for all my life. Just didn't understand it. I'm just starting to understand it as I develop this warfare relationship. And as I'm learning and learning those spirit realm, how to fight in the spirit realm, that's why I'm learning it now. I've already walked with the warlocks and the witches trying to do stuff to me. So now I know the signs. I know the trick. And I, uh, I can hear the Holy Spirit so much clearer. So when I see things, if I had, like, I, things have been tried to fit, feed me in my dream. The Holy Spirit insisted, wake up. Send it back to sender. Send that back to the spirit realm. Tell the spirit realm to eat that itself. Blah, 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 blah. So that's what I would do. I would send it back. So it cannot attach to me. So then, I didn't have a beef with these women. These women were doing stuff before I had the beef. Because I was always constantly waking up rebuking stuff. Now remember, I said the spirit realm attacks you in your sleep. <laughs> I guess to have insomnia is a blessing in a way. Because when you sleep, your, your conscious mind... Your your subcon your subconscious your conscious mind is asleep, so it can't recognize things. But thank God for the Holy Spirit with me, I'm able to be wakened and get up and 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 the Holy Spirit to tell me what to do, cause somebody's trying to get me through my dreams. Somebody's trying to do witchcraft on me. <laughs> they don't know who they playing with. <laughs> I will not be defeated by witchcraft. The, the warlocks and witches been after me for years. I don't know if you remember about seven years I said I ended up in a church with a warlock. And he had me all twisted up and crazy. And I ended up having to go to a, 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 a chiropractor to get untwisted. My bedroom is immediately next to my bathroom. I couldn't get out of my bed and go to my bathroom. Not only are they... And you'd be surprised how many Christian warlocks there is. What they call themselves Christians, but they're doing witchcraft. Saul. Saul was anointed. He lost the anointing. So guess what they're going to do when they lose their anointing? Because they thought they were God. They thought they were doing the blessing. They thought they had the anointing that it came from themselves. And they started being boastful. So <clears throat> it's a dangerous thing to be boastful as a Christian. <laughs> Because then God will take your anointing. That's what happened to Saul. Saul lost his anointing. So guess what Saul started doing? He didn't stop ministering. He didn't stop um, being the king. He started seeking the witch, the, the war, witches and warlocks. And they started helping him. They started giving him a word to prophesy. So now you got to be careful who prophesying over you. Because they these are witches and warlocks in these churches. And I'm the crazy one that God is sending to expose their butts. So I exposed him. And he twists me up. <laughs> but I'm free <laughs> you gotta laugh at the devil because it's like you can try it but I'm anointed I'm called I'm blessed God is not gonna let you do to me what you may can do to others so you gotta know who you are in Christ you gotta constantly stay seeking God you gotta constantly stay talking to God you gotta constantly be reverencing God to stay blessed like that like Saul got boastful Saul got crazy. And you ever find, listen, listen, listen. This is a nugget. The Holy Spirit just gave it to me. You ever go into a church and that person is boastful? No, that they're not of God no more. Even if they were anointed. Come on, Holy Spirit. Even if they were anointed. Once you become boastful, you become an enemy to God. And you'll lose your anointing. So if you ever see a boasting pastor, prophet, or whatever, get away from them. Because they no, no, they no longer anointed. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a spirit on them now. So they're not being blessed by God. You don't want them people to touch you. You don't want them because that's cross-contamination. Whatever's on them is going to come on you. Now, I don't know if you ever heard me talk about the church with the gay spirit. Or the church with the gluttony spirit. Or the church with the um everybody sexually crazy in there. Because that's the spirit that's in the house. 
There is no no person that doesn't have a demon attached or a spirit attached. Um, Jesus said in his word that there is none that is perfect. He is the only perfect one. So, we all got some sin going on that we deal with daily. As long as you don't let the sin take over you. If you sin, you just ask for forgiveness and you just get back to reverencing God. And ask God to help you fight that. You're never going to be perfect. You're never going to be perfect. But if you see a person locked and loaded with sin, mm -mm, get from under that. I deal with one thing. And I deal with it. I had to go, I had to rebuke my atmosphere sometimes. But when it tried to come, because how sin happened, it comes in your your spirit first. The devil will start talking, you know, the guy, the devil, he'll start talking to you. And he'll talk, start telling you what to do, that very sin that you don't want to do. You got to rebuke him. Rebuke him. There's power in the word rebuke. Rebu I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. You got to rebuke that. That thing. That's how you defeat it. it it's going to come. Because it knows it's, it's your stronghold. Everybody got a stronghold. So when your stronghold comes, you got to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you got to rebuke it. So then tell Satan, not today. Not today, not tomorrow either. You just got to keep rebuking it. And sometimes, um, you know with uh, Samson and Delilah, he had... He had he had all that strength and all that gift hidden in him that he was not supposed to tell no one. So he he they used Delilah. Delilah is a killer. She ain't playing with nobody. She don't care. She just want what she gonna get and she gonna destroy you in every way that she can get um do it to get her her reward from Satan. So you gotta watch for them Delilahs. Them Delilahs ain't playing. And you got Jezebel, but you got Delilah. Delilah. Oh, Lord, I, was, I didn't come on here for this. Delilah, Delilah is a descendant of Jezebel, which Jezebel's daughter's name is, come on, Holy Spirit. I always mess her name up. Alethea, 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 something like that. Her daughter's name is Alethea. Jezebel is horrible all by herself. But if you remember me ever saying my kids are anointed like me, but their gifts are stronger than me. So just imagine a person with a cursed gift as Jezebel's, her daughter gift is going to be stronger than hers. So, Alethea is more deadlier than Jezebel. So, that was the spirit that came after Samson. Jezebel couldn't get Samson, but Alethea could. Alethea is ruthless. So, you got to watch for these spirits when they're coming in your life. You got to always look for the enemy, no matter where. I don't care if they come with the face of an angel. I had a woman... She came and, and greeted me into my neighborhood with a basket of fruit. Oh, the first time I ever experienced that was an older lady. She did roots and everything too. That woman was doing stuff to me. So, I received her. Next thing I know, I became her friend. This lady always gave me this evil look. Like, I, I, like, like she acted like she loved me, but you could see the evil that she, she hated me. You watch out for those people. Because those people ain't high, high red. Freeman, those people are not coming in your life for nothing. They're coming in your life to do harm and danger. That's why you must have your relationship. Anybody that's coming on to this video now, I showed you in the beginning how to have a relationship with God and how to develop a relationship with God. But in order to have a relationship with God, you need to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I'm going to keep saying that because you cannot have a relationship with the Holy Spirit if you don't belong to Jesus. Jesus said, I must go that the Comforter may come. The Comforter is the Holy Spirit. That's the one that teaches you. He guides you. He he, look, he woke me up in my dream, told me somebody was doing something to me. And and they were. I had stuff going on in my body. I had stuff going on in my body for the last three weeks. So let's get to this green juice. Those that have cancer. Those that have sickness in your body. I did not know that this was going to divert my diabetes either. Now I'm waking up my... I, um. I had to go back to the hospital and get back on my diabetes medicine because the natural herb that I was trying stopped working. So that I had to keep checking my thing. I didn't know it stopped working, but I started peeing a lot and peeing a lot and racing to the bathroom and stuff. And the Holy Spirit said, check your sugar. I checked my sugar. It was like 485. I was like, oh my God. So the Holy Spirit said, you're going to have to deal with this. So my way of dealing was I went back on my medicine. So, I, I noticed I'm gaining some weight already, but I'm going to get off it. Because now, the Holy Spirit done put me on this green juice. This is kale. 
I make it by the gallon for the week because I drink it like two or three times a day. This is kale, spinach, chai seeds, flex seeds, ginger, garlic, and lots of cranberry juice because I use the cranberry juice for flavor. Well, I use the fruit flavor cranberry juice because I use cranberry juice with cherries. Cherries is for inflammation. Mind you, I told you I had some darts coming my way. My hands was getting locked up. My feet, I had pins and shock feelings going through my legs and my feet. So I knew something, some, somebody was doing something to me. So I had to send that back to the, to the devil. Now, this is one thing. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place, but hold on. When, you, when someone is doing something to you, you'll feel it. You'll even feel in your sleep your body a jerk. That means somebody, a spirit just jumped into you. Your body a jerk. I mean, it will literally jerk. Like you will feel something enter. So you got to rebuke that in the name of Jesus and it'll leave. Listen, you got to rebuke it in the name of Jesus and it will leave. Now, if you dream about stuff in your dream and it's not coherent to what you want. Like people say, my, my, my husband knew he was going to die. He dreamed of it. He should have been rebuking that in the name of Jesus. He should have been rebuking the death spirit. Or if someone tell you that they dream that they're dying, you all rebuke the death spirit. You got to rebuke it. The God will give you warning before the destruction. And when you get it, learn y'all got to rebuke it. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. If your kids said they had a dream of this, you rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Because uh, kid, baby Jesus had had... His demons assigned to him to kill him. Your kids are anointed or whatever. They got demons assigned to them. So you got to listen to your kids too. And if they have a nightmares and stuff, you pray over them and you rebuke every spirit that has attached to them through their dream in the name of Jesus and send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus, whether it's Satan or not. If you send it back to the sender and the Satan is going back to the pit of hell where it came from. If you send it back and it's coming back from somebody that did witchcraft on you, then it's going back to them in the name of Jesus. You have to send this stuff back. You have to rebuke it. You don't sit there and let a snake bite you with its poison. You send it back. You cut the head off. Cut the head off and send it back. Here lately, I got so much going on. Look, I already know. That woman know. I know she, she killed that man with witchcraft. That woman know who I know who she is. I'm going to call her out in a minute. She keep messing with me. I'm going to call her trifling but out. Everybody thinks she a saint, y'all. Because she talk God. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody thinks she's a saint. You gotta watch a person's fruit. A saint can't a saint can't come against people. We can't do that. A true saint woman of God cannot talk against people. We can't put our mouth on people. Uh, we can't we can't speak ill words towards people. We cannot do that. So if you see a gossiper, um, you know, people we talk. But not down to gossiping, gossiping, and talking nasty stuff, and they, they talking, God, you can't talk both things out the same mouth. You're going to have to pick a side. The word said you're going to love one and hate the other. I hate a gossiper. I hate talking, talking bad to people. I hate people that talk bad about people all the time. That, don't bring that to me, because I'm going I'm to pray against you. So that's what I'm talking. That's how you recognize a good Christian. Hi, Kimber. You recognize a good Christian by their fruit. Kimber, you're gonna have to watch this over because this is almost this is almost finished. So I'm teaching you how to watch people, even in church, when people come up under you, people are assigned to us to do us harm from birth, just like I said again, just like the, the enemy came after Jesus to kill Jesus. If you got anointing or calling on your life or your children, there's demons assigned to abort that plan. So you got to watch and be careful. You got to watch for the witches and warlocks because that's where they at. Let me tell you, a lot of this, um, a lot of this, um, soul, soul selling and stuff, guess what they're using? Witches and warlocks and demons. They're using that to do sacrifice themselves to, 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 to the devil. So don't think that this stuff is not, is not real. It's, it's underground, but it's being exposed. Y'all seeing a lot of stuff talking about the sacrificing now. That's how we got here in trouble. That's how COVID is out there. That's how the next the next thing is some kind of fungus is supposed to be coming to us. You better boost, get these greens in, y'all. Boost your immune system and avoid everything that's that that's coming in. Now I told you again, this this is what you call this is what you call a 
alkaline. Alkaline is acid. Um, sickness cannot live in acid. Any kind of sickness cannot live in acid. Now, I showed y'all earlier the big brown grayish spot I had on my leg. I've been doing this for about five days, and that thing is gone. I don't know what that was, but it had to be some kind of fungus or something on my skin. But it wasn't on top of my skin. It was under my skin. Like eczema, that's a parasite on your skin. Come on now. Eczema, that's a parasite. It's crusty. It's itchy. That's a parasite. Echoline. It can't stay in your body. This is the turmeric, turmeric, garlic, ginger, um, kale. Uh, you can put some carrots or whatever. You got to get a nice side, nice blender that'll chop this stuff. I don't mind. See, 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 like this. I don't mind eating that because that's where that's where all the real vitamins and a lot of people will take this out and just use the juice. But the vitamins in the, is in the pulp, so I eat that. Well, what's the purpose of doing it if I'm not gonna eat everything? And if you know fruit, all the vitamins are really in the pill. <laughs> so why would I throw the pulp away? The stupid juices that throw the pulp away. Eat the pulp. Eat the pulp. Take a spoon and eat it. Because um, a lot of this, the pulp is at the bottom. So I'm really drinking the juice. This is so good. I'm almost finished it, y'all. This is so good. You'd be surprised. It may be greens and spinach and um, put some celery in it. Celery kills. I put everything that's in here, it'll fight cancer. It'll fight um, arthritis. Because... Um, like a week ago, I couldn't barely, I, could, I couldn't even hold the cup. I was doing this kind of stuff. And then I had this nodule trying to grow on this thumb. It stopped. Now, and then this, this, this thumb was locking, locking and clicking. It stopped. So, whatever, whatever was going on, the Holy Spirit told me how to defeat it. So, y'all that... This is this is now a lifetime thing for me. This is an everyday thing. I just buy a bag of kale and a bag of spinach. And your flexes, you get a lot of that. And your chises, you get a lot of that. And then I buy me a, a big chunk of clove, um, um, ginger. And I buy the um, the turmeric. Now, if you buy the turmeric powder, you have, it has to have pepper in it. Because pepper, turmeric will not absorb in your body without pepper. Don't ask me why. But you need the one with the pepper. You can get the capsules, they're on Amazon, or a big bag, uh, that's on Amazon too. So, I got the green, if you see my jar of greens, because I don't feel like eating it, I got it in, I got it all in that thing, in that powder. So, y'all, that's going to cost you probably, that, that green powder cost me $15, it's 20 servings in there, so I need two, so that's $30. And if you get food stamps, they take food stamps for that on, 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 on Amazon. And the turmeric. So if you if you have food stamps, you can get that with your food stamp. Um, look for food stamp items. Turmeric, um, the greens. That's the only green. I, I'll, I'll put a picture of it on, on the page. That's the only one that I think, I know, I think it was three of them that said it take food stamps. But I bought that one because that one had 50 vitamins. No, that had 50 fruits and vegetables. Fruits got a lot of healing priorities. I can't eat all that stuff. I can't eat all that. You know, I might be big, but I am not a eater. I'm not an eater. I'm a drinker. So that's why the Holy Spirit told me to put it in the drink. Because I drink all day. I, I drink all day. I got to force food in. So anyway, with that being said, anything, if you got pinging in your body, you got stiffness in your body, if you have cancer in your body, if you have eczema, them is things hosting in your body. And your fruits and vegetables is your healer. Now, you might have to, for whatever specific um, sickness you have, there's a juicing for it. There's a juicing for it. You have to Google it and see what it is. Google that. Start drinking that every day. It might say 16 ounce, but I will do I will do a 30 ounce. So whatever else my body can't use, it'll just pee it out. But I am getting a lot of stuff. I'm... Like, the, the the hand started working instantly. The hand started working with the first drink. So, this is like my, probably my sixth drink. And I, the, the, that, that big old scar that was on my leg, that's been on my leg for about five or six years. I thought it was, what I thought it was? I forgot. 
I forgot what I thought it was because I had some kind of sickness and I thought it came from that. But whatever it is, whatever the, whatever it is is in that, it made it go away. And I had that thing on my body for six years. So I'm not just telling you from from trying to tell you. God, the Holy Spirit, the God is not going to allow you to, to teach something that you haven't walked in. So I'm teaching you this. And I already knew about the cancer. Remember I was getting ready to sell the herbs and stuff. Oh, that's sea moss in there too. Remember I was going to sell all the herbs and stuff. So I had to learn all this stuff from that. So I knew that turmeric, that ginger, that soursop, that sea moss, that um, chai season. I knew all that was cancer fighter. I was teaching y'all that before, but nobody was paying me no mind. But y'all need to... They're, 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 they're attacking us through flu season. So we almost out of flu season. Oh, we is out of flu season. I think by, by end of May, April, end of March, April, flu season be over. So the next flu season is, is September. Y'all need to, um, turn this into some popsicles or do something. Get your kids to like this stuff. I don't care if it's a pinch of kale, a pinch of spinach. Inside their Kool-Aid or their juice, they won't know it. But you got them vegetables in there. Because these kids like to eat junk. They don't like to eat food. So that's why the kids are so sick too. But if, they're, they, if they have cancer, um, it's a lady on my page. Her brother had cancer and he started juicing. He had stage four. He started juicing. I learned this about a year or so ago. Matter of fact, before they closed us down. So over a year ago. He started juicing with stage four cancer and it retracted. It reverted. It diverted. And that wasn't the first time I heard that. That's probably like maybe the third time I heard that. So this green juicing defeats cancer. So anybody that has cancer, make it a regimen. Get you a blender. That new blender, now I usually buy the expensive ones, $150, $200 or whatever. But them things ain't no good either. They break down just as quick as the cheap ones. So I, I got a cheap one this time because my $150 one just broke down. My, Nutri, my big Nutri blender, it's trying to catch fire, so I won't use it. So I went to Walmart, and I got one that said it blends very well. It was like $35, and it does. I'll show that to you, too, when I get downstairs. And it, it does blend very well. So, I, so I'm not going to buy no 150 Just go get you a $35 blender. I'm going to put the picture up when I get finished. And then when you go to the market, y'all got food stamps, ain't going to cost you nothing. Get you a bag of kale. Get you a bag of spinach. Buy you some chai seeds, some flex seeds, and some celery, and some carrots if you want for, um, carotene. And, uh, what else is in there? Gin a piece of ginger, um, get you some garlic cloves, and put you a lot of juice, cranberry juice. The reason why I say cranberry juice, or you can use orange juice too, because they have antioxidants in it too. I use cranberry juice, because cranberry juice got a lot of healing priorities. Cranberries kill your, heal your, um, kidneys, and it flush your bladder. Oh, you got bladder cancer. Guess what's your friend? This juice with made with cranberry juice. A lot of people make it with water. No, the Holy Spirit told me to use cranberry juice because I need the sweetness and I didn't want to put no sugar in it. So that was the natural way of sweetening it. So I put maybe like eight ounces of cranberry juice in there. I go to Walmart all the way up in the counties and I buy like 10 to 12. No, I bought 13 this time. Buy bottles, the big the big bottles of cranberry juice. They in my garage. And then my stomach, deal, I deal with the, um, I had an ulcer. Oh, maybe that, yeah. So I used to, I used to have to keep a lot of ginger ale in the house. So when my ulcer act up, I can de, uh, de, de counter act that. Instead of using medicine, I started using ginger ale. I've been, I've been doing natural stuff. But this was something different I needed to go on because them little darn witches and warlocks tried to lock my hands up and do all kinds of stuff. So, and then I had, I had like this little mold thing that grew on my back. I scratched that thing out and put holy oil on. It's going down. That's something that probably entered into my body while I was asleep. Guess what? They got to enter some kind of way. Demons enter through your navels, your eyes, your mouth, your nose, your ear, wherever opening. That's how they enter. Well, I must have had, because um, I'm always scratching. I might have had a, a 
I might have already, yeah, I think I already did have a little black hair or something, and I picked it out. So now I had opened. That thing was so big. My friend came over one day. I had a um, spaghetti top shirt on. I didn't know that I had that thing back there. He was like, what is this on your back? And I'm like, huh? I looked at it. It was a big old huge whatever. I, I didn't do nothing to it. Well, how I get back there? So whatever them witches and warlocks, whatever them witches thought they were going to do, I kind of reacted. I kind of reacted. I sent it back to Cinder. So if y'all think somebody's doing something, if you got any kind of weird feeling in your body that's not normal, that's a good chance somebody's doing something to you. These Lord, these little crazy people out here really doing stuff. If you feel something jump into your body in your sleep, you rebuke that in the name of Jesus and send it back to sender. If you feel like pings, now the pings I was feeling, some of them would be sharp like lightning, and some of them would be, be like a whole bunch of need, um, needles stinging me or bees stinging me. That was something that just started happening. Oh no, devil! I know that's I know that's your witch. I send that back to Cinder. I send that back to Cinder. <laughs> like I told the girl, oh, you ain't put no fear of me. I ain't scared of you. Um, you need to unclothe yourself because I I could come face to face with you. But you know that's how the devil is a coward. They still they they do things in your sleep and like like even down to like when the white when the I'm not talking about white people. I'm just using an example. When the whites stole the land for the Indians, they stole it. Stealing is a, is a coward way. <laughs> when you just go on up there and talk to them and try to get it that way, a dollar if you're going to get it. But even down to slavery, they had to attack us. They had to attack us and send a whole bunch of people to grab one person. Cowards. That's how, that's how it is in the spirit realm. So the same way you see the coward acting like when you, when you know you're a fighter, they got to jump you. That's the same way the spirit realm is. They got to get you when you... When you're not, when they, when they think you can't, can't, when you're not coherent. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Same way. Same way. So with that being said, y'all develop your relationship with God. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please seek him. Please receive Christ today. Because this is more. Y'all think COVID was something. What they got planned in next is even more. They trying to force that vaccine on us. And what they got to do, they got to break us down mentally to do it. And then they got us locked in our house. So how many of y'all exercising? Your body's weak. Y'all couldn't run if y'all tried. <laughs> me either. <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I'm getting, the Holy Spirit told me to start exercising this week. I'm going to get with it. I Actually, I think I'm going to start going back to the gym. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to call them today and see what hours they got. Because got, you got a schedule to come back into the gym now. My gym, anyway. Because I go swimming. So anyway, how many of y'all, if they was to attack us, come on now. If they were to attack us, would you be physically able to run? Would you be physically, uh, is your body so sick and impacted from gaining the weight from being in the house? Would you be able to be healthily um, able to, to, to help yourself? Put, some, put down some of that junk and get to this juicing. Boost your immune system. Combat what is already going on in your body. And thank you, Holy Spirit. One thing about sickness, when you know sickness is coming, if the doctor say you got cancer, you don't got no cancer, you better not claim that. Because once you claim it, it can receive you. You can't claim cancer. You can't claim, like when they told me I would never walk, I was already saying, the devil is lying. The devil is lying. It took me a little bit of time. One time it took me like four years to, to be able to walk. Then the next time it was like maybe a year and a half. But I refuse to accept that report from them doctors. Stop accepting the reports from the doctor. Jesus is the one who has the last say. He is the one who say you're going to stay in that bed or you're going to get up out that bed. But you got to have the spirit. That's part of a spirit of a warrior. You rebuke everything. You fight against everything. I don't care if it's person, sickness, um, brokenness, um, unhealthiness. I don't care what it is. You fight against everything. And that go for receiving these reports of the doctor. People say, I got stage 4 cancer. No, you don't. You better stop receiving that. Don't receive those reports. I have never received a report from the doctor. I refuse that. And um, I've always been like that. Oh, no, 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 I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We're not going there. So even like, even if you don't have any kind of sickness in your body, how about you do this healthy regimen so it won't come? So it won't come. And then if they attack us, your body will be able to fight against it. The next chemical warfare. Come on, Holy Spirit. That's what the Holy Spirit said it was. Just now. Chemical warfare. This is your battle.
This is your, your cannon, your Glock, your whatever you want to call your weapon. This is it. This one's so good, I had to go make another one. <laughs> I'm going to have to go make another one. What well, my body can't use is going to pee out. So, anyway, I'm going to really get off, y'all. Um, I got some things I got to do. And I've been on here a long time. So, anyway, y'all share this video. Please share this video. Because there's a lot of sickness out there. There's a lot of people doing witchcraft. Uh, um, if y'all don't believe that, that witches and warlocks are real, <laughs> TV ain't telling y'all, showing y'all. Harry Potter and, and Dungeons and Dragons and stuff for nothing. That stuff exists. And when you don't hear the conversation of Illuminati for nothing, that's happening. I remember I saw recently, it said a child was abducted. I had to hurry up and go online to see if it was a full moon. Because they sacrifice children because they're pure. Satan is so evil, he wants everything that's pure. That's why they sacrifice children. Because children haven't had sex. They're pure. They're innocent. Um, if you ever read the read the Bible about, um, oh God, Esther. Esther was a woman that came up against child um, sacrificing. That's me. I didn't, know I, I didn't know I had the Esther spirit on me. But I pray against child sacrificing all the time. Because when it's a full moon... These people are sacrificing children. When you hear children being um, kidnapped and whatever, that's because they need that child to sacrifice. Or they're going to they're gonna sacrifice it, probably kill it, or they're going sacrifice it, to sacrifice it sexually. And then that child's going to become a sex slave. So when you see these alerts, you come against that. You pray the Holy Spirit to unclothe and send the angels to bring that baby back to their parents. That's a prayer that God, the Holy Spirit, gave me that gets answered instantly. If I see one of those things and I say that prayer over that child, that child gets found within that day. Within a few hours, actually. Hey, just about a child. They sacrificing the adults, too. They need organs and all that stuff. So they do. Hmm. I'm being newsy looking out my window. So they doing it all over. They doing it for all kinds of reasons, for organs or whatever. So when you see these people being kidnapped or whatever, y'all come up against it. That's what we call for. The word said that we are called to pray. Guess what the world needs now? Prayer warriors. They need us. Guess where the answer is for all the stuff that's going on now? It's in prayer. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray. Y'all pray too that I get the finances to get this prayer clinic open. Because y'all might need me to pray that sickness off y'all. To say pray that roots off of y'all. To pray them strongholds off of y'all. Y'all may need me for that. So I need a clinic for that. I ain't doing that in my house. I'm not releasing no demons in my house. Everybody's like, why don't you open up your house? Oh, no. I got sleep here. I got kids to sleep here. Demons love kids and animals. Demons love to rest on kids and animals. Your kid's acting crazy, he gets you some holy oil and say the 91st Psalm over their butts and release them from that demon. Kids don't just act crazy for no reason. It's something attached to them. I ain't gonna say it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. People call me about their kids. I pray about their kids because they know I'm a prayer. And they know I'm a I'm prayer. And I know about kids, and I know about animals. I had a I had a little kitty in here. That kitty was full of demons. She left. She left on her own. I guess she got tired of me annoying her. But okay, <laughs> between the anointing and I would give her holy water. <laughs> I would get a cat holy water. I ain't seen her, but I know she should be getting ready to have some babies. It was that little cat, my daughter. That I found that I gave to my daughter because my daughter had mice real bad. And I gave it to her. My daughter said, Mom, something about this cat. Come get your cat. So I went and got the cat and I kept her. What's so crazy? When you anoint it, this is about the third cat that attached itself to me. They don't want the kid. They wanted me. When you anoint it, be surprised what demon want to get attached to you. Now, everybody don't want to be possessed. Some want some release and some healing, too. So, they'll attach themselves to an anointed one. But anyway, this one little kitten, I had to get her. I had to get her. I set her with that um, holy water. She went up in the air and came back down. And when she came back down, that demon was released. That demon, that little kitty was tearing my daughter up. And I said, look, 
you keep fighting my daughter, she brought you in here. You're going to have to go. So then they climbed up under me. I said, oh, you want me? You don't want, you don't want her, huh? So then I said, you better go on back over there to her because she brought you in this house. It didn't want her. It was hiss. This little tiny little thing. Hiss. It, it, it wanted to fight my daughter. So that's when I got it with that holy water. I got it with that holy water. I got it as my witness. It was like I set it on fire. It went, it went down and jumped up to the sky. And when it came back down, it was normal. It was the nicest kitten ever. After that, it was the nicest kitten ever. So you gotta watch your animals. So your animals acting foolish. You better get them, get them with some holy oil and get them with that word. Cause demons are rest on kids and and, and 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 animals. Yes, they will. And be right, right up under you. Wonder why that cat looking at you so funny? Why that dog looking at you so funny? It's the demon in, in the animal. Why that kid keeps and keeps screaming and all that? It's the demon in the kid. It's the demon in the kid. 91st Psalm, 91st Psalm, 23rd Psalm, Psalm 113, 101, 103. Those are Psalms that break, um, break down demons, that make demons run. I might got some more. But I think 134 too. Uh, y'all don't know the book of um, David, Psalms? Y'all need to learn the book of Psalms. Because Psalms teach you how to pray. Psalms will put that spirit of, of David on you. And then you'll start talking like David. Start acting like David. David was a warrior. Not only was he a warrior in the physical, in the spirit, he was a war, warrior in the physical too. David was the one who knocked down Goliath. Of course God would teach him teach him all the prayers. The prayers to break yokes. Y'all need to read that book of Psalms. Let me give y'all give y'all something to read. Psalms, Proverbs, um, the whole New Testament. When you get the revelations, you better pray. You better be fast in the prayer when you get the revelations. Because anybody, if you don't know, revelations come with a lot of warfare. Reading the book of revelations will bring warfare on your life. But once you get through it, it also brings blessings on your life. It's like the rainbow. The, the storm, then at the end of the rainbow is the blessing. That's how the book of revelations is. So, if you want to be brave enough, go on in revelations, read it. Know that you're going to be attacked. But once you come through it, all kinds of revelation and, and blessings is going to be released from that. So it's like the pot of gold from the rainbow after the storm. Um, let me see. Psalm. Come on, Holy Spirit. We got Psalms. We got Proverbs. We got the whole book of um, New Testaments. But I really want y'all to get in some of the um, Moses, the Old Testaments too. Because that's Moses in them days. Noah. And that's where we at now. We back in that stage. So read some Bible. Read some Bible. Read some Bible, y'all. Um, I got a lot of Bible in me first. This is how I got a lot of Bible in me. The Holy Spirit taught me. He said, read all the small books of the Bible. They were small books. I, eat, I ate that Bible up. They were so quick to read. So then after I read the small books, then he showed me to go to the next, the medium books. Leave the, the big books for last. And that's what I did. Which Proverbs, Psalms, um... Um, a lot of the Old Testament books are big books. So go through the small books first. Let's get some word in you. In order for you to be a child of God, you got to know his word. In order for you to pray, you got to know his words because you got to get the devil back the word. In order for you to have victory in your warfare, you got to be able to use your word. Your word is your sword. Your shield and your helmet and your, your breastplate. You got to learn that stuff. <laughs> so with that being said, um, I'll come back. I'll come back when, when the Holy Spirit sent me. But the Holy Spirit wants y'all to start eating healthy. He wants y'all to learn how to combat. Um, an ounce of prevention go a long way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you can use it. Uh, we ain't claiming nothing. If you got something in your body, we're going to defeat it with the green juice. And then, if you don't have nothing in your body, we're going to keep it out your body with the green juice. Make this your regimen. Just like you drink water. Just like you eat that chocolate. Just like you smoke that loud. Oh, I ain't want to go there. I ain't want to go there. I ain't want to go there. Put some healthy stuff. Make some healthy stuff. You see people chasing this lie all day, all day, all day. I need lie. I need, oh, I got to get me some puff up. Yeah, better drink you some, some. Maybe it'll help your mental clarity, too. Because ginger got a lot of clarity in for your mind, too. Surprise. Brain fog. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Brain fog is real. It's from the stuff you're putting in your bodies. The chemicals and the, and the, 
eating unhealthy and, and all that, that'll give you brain fog. Your brain needs oxygen. So if you're constantly smoking loud and eating unhealthy, your brain is not getting the oxygen that it's going to get from the, the healthy food. Boy, did the Holy Spirit kick in right here. I tell you. That's why I always got to get in my praise. I don't want to teach it myself. I want to teach what thus said the Lord. So let me just bless y'all right now. Lord God, I bless you. I give you honor and glory. I praise you. I worship you. I adore you. I thank you for the hour that you have given me to do a teaching on being healthy. To do it for the teaching of rebuking the devil. For the teaching of being wise over your body and over your spirit and over your mind and over your physical well-being. For the, the, for the, for the gift of learning that the spirit realm how the spirit realm works, Lord God. And I just bless you for who you are in our lives. I thank you, Father God, for those that are about to receive you as your Lord and Savior, Lord God. Use me as your vessel, for I am an evangelist first. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I just thank you for what you're doing. Lord God, I ask that you would bring the finances to me so I can get this prayer clinic open. So I can be able to do what it is, thus saith the Lord, outside of my house. I need a building, Lord God. I need a building, Lord God. They're waiting for me. Everybody's asking me when you come and when you come and when you come. Open the doors that I may come that no man can shut, Lord God. I ask thee in the name of Jesus. Bless all those on this line. Lord God, let them get a spirit of sharing to share this video to help someone else out. Lord, give us our eyes, open our eyes, open our spirits, and give us discernment in a way that we have never seen it before, Lord God. Abort every plan of the enemy in our lives and in our children's lives and in our family lives and all over our finances and in our body. In Jesus' blessed name. I ask that you wish for the shield of protection around our houses and our cars right now in the name of Jesus. Let our, our feet be blessed as we come and blessed as we go. Let our children sleep in peace, Lord God. Put your spirit in our houses that we may meditate upon you day and night in the mighty name of Jesus. Rest upon our children for you said in your word that our children and our sons and daughters shall prophesy, Lord God. Rest your spirit amongst our children because the children are speaking in this hour. Lord God, let us have ears to hear the babies, Lord God. In Jesus' blessed name I pray. I seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus. I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all. I thank y'all for coming on online. i see y'all next time. God bless you.